Thank you. Today, Mayor Craig Greenberg is going to join LNPD to give us an update on the investigation into the arrest of pro golfer Scotty Scheffler. Scheffler was arrested last Friday morning outside Valhalla Golf Club after police say he attempted to drive around a police barricade while officers investigated the death of a security worker hit by a shuttle bus. Police say Scheffler ignored officer commands and dragged Detective Brian Gillis with his car, sending him to the hospital. There's no body camera video of the incident, according to LMPD, but there is video from a camera across the street. That is set to be released today during LMPD's update, which is happening at 1130. You can watch it live on WHAS11.com and in our news app, and then look for a report on WHAS11 News at noon. Metro Police say it's seeing some improvements in the city's violent crime rates, but say more resources are needed. The police chief outlined those needs during a Metro Council budget hearing last night. May is on track to be the most violent month this year, with 42 shootings in just 22 days. Tuesday alone saw four. WHS 11's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Addie Hill share the concerns from one person affected by the violence and tell us how LMPD is trying to combat it. It was a violent night across the city Tuesday night. I just think it's terrible that these kids are going. It ain't nothing but babies killing babies because that's how they are. Really. Patricia Lusco lives a few blocks from where a juvenile was shot and killed on Garland Avenue in the Chickasaw neighborhood. Just minutes before a man was shot in Oklahoma and later died at the hospital. An hour later, Louisville Metro Police responded to a shooting in Portland that left a man in grave condition. We need to get these kids off the streets and try to get them into something and, and, and show them, you know, these guns ain't where it's at. Combating the city's violence was part of the discussion at a Wednesday Metro Council meeting focused on LMPD's $242 million budget. LMPD Chief Jacqueline Gwynville Rowell says the department's $900,000 shot spotter technology is helping officers track crime in a 12 square mile radius. But she's looking to see if it can be expanded. To look at our six square miles, um, had a conversation with Shot Spotter as it relates to that, um, and see, and also too, but explore other technology that is out there as well. Amid a tighter budget this year, the chief says the department needs more resources. The helicopter is such a great source for all of the units within LMPD. The chief and neighbors both focused on ways to reduce the violence and prevent lives from being taken away so soon. Some ain't even set in good. So just think what's going to happen when some do set in. In Louisville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side. The Louisville Metro Council will vote on the 2024 and 2025 fiscal year budget on Thursday, June 20th. Now, we'll also mention Metro Police are still investigating most of the shootings from this month. So if you have any information, you're encouraged to call the anonymous tip line at 574-LMPD. And also, you can use their online portal. 605 now, there are new developments this morning in a shooting involving an LMPD officer. The teenage murder suspect who was shot has died. According to the LMPD, this happened while officers were conducting surveillance for a homicide investigation in the Wilder Park neighborhood last Tuesday. When they approached the 17-year-old homicide suspect, police say he showed a gun and then ran off. He was wrestled to the ground and allegedly fired that gun. That is when LMPD officer Benjamin Derby returned fire. Police say the 17-year-old died yesterday at a local hospital. The LMPD's Public Integrity Unit is investigating. A judge has set the bond for a man accused of setting fire to a Highlands Krispy Kreme at $100,000. Michael Moore appeared in court for the first time yesterday. According to Louisville Fire, Moore threw a plastic bottle on the roof of the Bardstown Road storefront to start the fire. Officials haven't said, though, what was in that bottle. Moore is charged with arson and wanton endangerment. He's due back in court next week. A federal judge has denied a second mental health evaluation for Quintess Brown. Brown is accused of shooting at then mayoral candidate Craig Greenberg in February of 2022. The defense expert witness recently said Brown had, quote, diminished mental capacity the day of the incident. The government has already done its own mental health evaluation, and the judge said there was no reason to approve another. The case will have another pretrial hearing on July 31st. JCPS is in the midst of a major transportation overhaul. The district says it's currently 30% finished with new bus routes for next year, and it comes as the district is finally officially responding to an audit of the first day of school fiasco. Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio believes some of the conclusions drawn in the March audit are not accurate, but said he agrees with most recommendations and is now looking to implement them this coming year. However, he says they will have to adjust throughout the year and potentially for years to come. I think it's going to be an ongoing process moving forward. And unfortunately, you know, this is just my prediction. If the trend continues with the way bus drivers are going locally and nationally, 
this will be an ongoing issue for the next decade or better right. on, a, on a yearly basis. The district also says it's installing cameras and tablets with GPS on each bus, which was one of the recommendations from the audit. So far, JCPS says 723 out of 725 buses have the camera systems installed.